Hello, everyone. Uh, let me tell you a story about Sarah Blim, a health-conscious, hard-working doctoral candidate at the University of Western Ontario. She was used to over-caffeinating to compensate for her exhaustion and believed that her migraines and blurred vision were the result. About a month out from her thesis uh, presentation, her dissertation, she was hurrying from a vegan coffee shop to her lab when she was clipped by a cyclist and hospitalized. There, they discovered that she had a rare case of glaucoma. So that's optic nerve damage, resulting in severe vision loss in her left eye. What was she to do? There is yet to be a cure for blindness, but there is prevention, making early detection the most effective solution. In Canada, there are three ophthalmologists for every 100,000 citizens. Most of the experts are in major cities, whereas the majority of our population, like much of the rest of the world, live in rural communities with limited access to the same expertise and equipment that help prevent Sarah from going completely blind. Ophthalmologists have been diagnosing glaucoma with specialized equipment since 1850. Today, the gold standard of Fundus Camera, a $15,000 device. My lab has used images from one of these devices to create novel computer vision algorithms able to automatically detect the disease state of the retina and improve the speed and accuracy of diagnoses. With 80 million cases of glaucoma worldwide, it is critical that we make early detection a more accessible solution. My work uses machine learning and computer vision to enable the use of smartphones and telemedicine in place of today's technology. The biggest challenge is in ensuring the quality of images is sufficient to make an accurate diagnosis. So, like Google, I use deep learning techniques such as convolutional neural networks to verify the quality of images as they are captured. Further, I'm developing 3D printable models to allow the use of various types of smartphones. This work will result in millions of people gaining access to mobile diagnostic tools, as well as remote experts, thus enabling the prevention and treatment of blindness, as well as other chronic conditions beyond glaucoma. Like most of us, Sarah took her vision for granted. Vision is a privilege and blindness is a curse. The goal of my research and my work thus far is to protect those at risk of losing their sight. A goal of my lab is to bring this technology to the developing world. Thank you.